Let us now consider the microscopic features of thymus. I am grateful to Professor Michael Horsch of University of Michigan Medical School for providing the images of histology sections used in this video. Thymus is a primary lymphoid organ which provides T lymphocytes to the entire body. Here, the thymocytes differentiate to form thymus processed lymphocytes so that they are trained to deliver T cell response while they acquire immune tolerance to the body's own cells. Thymus is an encapsulated bilobed organ situated in the superior mediastinum. Each lobe is covered by a loose connective tissue capsule which sends in the septa or trabeculae that divide the organ into partially separated irregular lobules. Connective tissue septa carry the blood vessels, nerves and efferent lymphatics. Here we are seeing the capsule covering the thymus and sending in the septa or trabeculae. We are also seeing a blood vessel in the septum. Each lobule has an outer densely staining cortex and a central pale medulla. The outer cortex is further divided into a superficial subcapsular cortex and deeper main cortex. The central medulla is comparatively pale staining. The medullary regions of in adjacent lobules as well as the two lobes are continuous. Here we are seeing a blood vessel in the septum, a superficial subcapsular cortex, deeper main cortex, both of which are densely basophilic in a normal HND stain section and a central pale staining medulla. Framework of thymus is made up of epithelioreticular cells, unlike the other lymphoid organs where fibrous reticular framework is found. These epithelioreticular cells are eosinophilic cells with central pale oval nucleus. They develop from endoderm of third pharyngeal pouch. They release various paracrine factors which help in T cell maturation. And T lymphocytes are found in the interstices of meshwork or cords formed by these epitheliocytes. Various types of epitheliocytes are found in the thymus. The outermost group of cells which are called as subcapsular epitheliocytes, they line the capsule and the septa as well as the blood vessels in the septum. They form blood thymus barrier and form type 1 epitheliocytes. In the cortex, we find type 2 and type 3 epitheliocytes. They form loose network. The type 3 epitheliocytes are found at the junction between cortex and medulla. Within medulla, the epitheliocytes form cords, which are basically type 4 and type 5 epitheliocytes. And we also find Hassel corpuscles formed by type 6 epitheliocytes. Hassel corpuscles in the medulla are holes of medullary epitheliocytes with central eosinophilic cellular debris. These are pr probably having a role in removing dying thymocytes. This is a magnified view of Hassel corpuscle. Thymocytes again are arranged at various levels. The subcapsular zone of thymic uh, thymocytes are basically thymic stem cells and lymphoblasts. In the cortex, we find densely packed small thymocytes, which are found in the interstices of epithelial reticulum. In the medulla, these cells are comparatively larger thymocytes, which are pale staining. Thymocytes migrate to deeper cortex as they mature. And these T cells, which fail to self-tolerate or to deliver appropriate immune response, are killed by apoptosis, whereas only those which succeed in doing these two functions enter the circulation via either efferent lymphatics or blood vessels. Thus, thymus educates the T cells. In cortex, those cells that recognize the self or foreign antigen survive by positive selection. And in the medulla, those cells that fail to recognize the self-MHC antigen survive by negative selection. 
all the other cells that fail the selection tests are killed within the thymus and the killed cells amount to about 95% of T cells. In addition to thymocytes, there are other non-lymphocytic thymic cells. They include those which belong to myeloid lineage, that is monocytes, macrophages and interdigitating dendritic cells. We also find fibroblasts along the trabeculae and capsule, myoid cells which help in T cell movements and non-myoid cells in the medulla with oxytocin, vasopressin and neurohypophysin, neurophysin which probably are having neural crest origin. With aging, thymus shows fibrofatty degeneration with very little thymic tissue left in the organ and number of Hassel's corpuscles also increase. So quickly recalling what we have seen so far, thymus is an encapsulated bilobed primary lymphoid organ. Capsule sends in septa that divides the lobes of thymus into incompletely divided lobules. Each lobule has outer cortex and central medulla. Thymus has epithelial framework that helps in providing microenvironment for maturation of thymocytes. Characteristic features of thymus are the presence of Hassel's corpuscles in the medulla and absence of lymphatic follicles. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can also visit this site for similar histology videos.